Hi everyone. Today we're diving right back into Unit 3, Day 11, the Sourcing and Evaluating Reliability Tool. Now, I know we've been working with this for a little bit, but let's just go back for a minute and remind ourselves about this tool. Okay, um, just a reminder that we need to take apart the title, context, and source. Okay, that's up here. We look at the title, the format, the historical context. Okay, then you summarize the main ideas of the document in your own words. Do you notice any facts that support observations from step one and two? Do you have any connections? Then you have step four, where you look at the perspective, purpose, bias, and audience. Then you give it your ranking, and then you have to write your reason to evaluate it. Now, remember, we already looked at what you're looking for with perspective and purpose and bias at audience and we already went through a model of how we would take it apart with the beginning with step one and two i know this is going back a bit and we took apart a source and broke down a source right um, we looked at the different color coding for perspective purpose bias and audience then they gave a model for the rating but let's say your teacher asks you to do it on your own right what would you do what language would you use if you had to speak about the author's perspective. Remember, that's their point of view, who, what the main idea, the point the author's trying to make, the background, right? So here's some sentence starters that might help you with that, okay? For perspective, I didn't give you a lot because I'm a believer of less is more, okay? So these sentence starters for perspective, okay? And remember, we're not using the word states. It drives graders and teachers crazy. Okay, and remember, uh, a source doesn't state. When someone states something, they're giving their opinion. If a piece of paper with words gets up and starts giving you its opinion, duck underneath your desk. You're having a bad nightmare from not writing what you had to do. Okay, or you live in an alternate universe with cartoons and papers does speak, but I'm not going there now. That's okay. So, sentence starters for perspective from so and so's point of view as a whoever they were, whatever they did, or because of, again, remember, it's usually the auth the source's authors, support or opposition to whatever, that's why they feel that way. Or let's say even as a member of, I don't know, you could take Lenin, as a member of the Communist Party, Lenin saw this as, and that's how you write this. Now remember, you guys, using one, you're not using a bunch. Next, I... Gave you a little more for purpose because it can get a little more complicated purpose. Um, and I've said this in another video is where you really say, if you understand the point of the source, it's, it's the what and the why. So you have to get more specific here. So that first blank is usually the author's intention, whoever the author's name, don't write the author's intention, right? The name of the author was to, and depending on what they wanted to do, you can pick out one of these purpose verbs from the bottom, like, persuade, convince, expose, highlight, inform, incite, like get people mad, uh, depending how you want it. Or you could start it in whatever the name of the source is. Again, the author sought or wanted to pick out one of the verbs. Or again, this author hoping to whatever, write it. Remember, it's the name. Get specific. It'll make your grader happy. And remember, the happier your grader is, the higher your score. Okay, um, next piece, okay, bias. Now, this is where you have to show, again, reminding yourself how the author has an ulterior motive or has a certain kind of lenses in their glasses or a certain type of glasses. So in, again, name of the source, um, or this source is slanted or it's not slanted, it's even or unbiased towards say whatever it is, why it is, or the author, again, the author's name, their motive or motivation was blank. Um, say why. Again, say the author's name would be prejudiced or unprejudiced or sort of prejudiced or not prejudiced about whatever, because next, next step also, author's intention was to swear or to convince someone to do blank. And then you're going to say why. These are the different ways you're going to start. And finally, the intended audience. I pin the word intended audience, meaning who they wanted the audience, because it's not always the audience isn't who they always who they wanted it to be. If you go back here, whom the piece is directed, one person, small group, large group, certain person, or number of people, it may not always be who they want. So name of the source was aimed at 
say who it was because. Notice I have all the becauses here. You have to say why. Another. So and so was reaching out to Lenin, was reaching out to, you know, the people in the Soviet because whatever it was. Or the NEP was intended for, you know, the people in charge of economics in the Soviet Union because they had to change things. So again, um, intended audience, remember it's who they're actually looking to speak to. So that's where you're going to use that kind of sentence starters. Bias, I told you, it's their perspective, their ulterior motive. Okay. The purpose, which I told you is the main point, the what and the why. Why was this written? What was the author trying to accomplish? And again, you have sent the status for perspective, for their point of view. Okay. What point is the author trying to make? Meaning, where did they come from that they're trying to make it? So hopefully these sentence starters will help you a little bit in using the sourcing and evaluating reliability tool. These sentence starters help some of my students, and I hope they help you as well. I hope you have an awesome day, night, or whatever it is when you're watching this. Bye-bye.